Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects Galvatron, or Galvatron 2 for you old school G1 Marvel fans. Now I got this Galvatron in the mail today thanks to a pre-order from Entertainment Earth. I pre-ordered this guy the day he dropped and was quite surprised to get him in the mail already. So big shout out to Entertainment Earth. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, it's your basic Generation Selects box. The ones we are so used to seeing already. Plain cardboard box with the spray painted Autobot logo there on the front and side. Transformers War for Cybertron and a sticker along the side saying which figure you have. You open the box up, and there you have Galvatron in all his glorious G1 Marvel goodness. And I love the looks of this figure already. And I'm happy to say that his shoulders are in the correct position. I was all ready with my Napa tools to fix this guy if they weren't, but they are good to go. So now, without further ado, let's get this Galvatron opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Galvatron 2 all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. But my god, these things open up into a poster, which I think is a little bit of overkill. Now you do have a decal map right there that shows where all the decals go on Galvatron, but we'll go over that more later on. And speaking of decals, here's the sheet of decals that comes with the figure. They are on foil backing, so they've got a nice shine to them but I'm really not sure just by feeling them what the quality is while they're stuck on the paper. I have a horrible feeling they're going to be that Titan's Return quality, that real thin uh, sticker, but we shall see. And then of course we have Galvatron and his accessories. Now if you didn't know, Galvatron 2 is a straight up repaint of Kingdom Galvatron along with all the accessories. The first accessory we'll go over is Galvatron's cannon, and I love the looks of this. This is very reminiscent to the Generation 1 toy. It's molded in a completely different orange plastic. You should be able to see the sparkles there on the inside, opposed to the Kingdom release, which was just orange with this horrible schmutz right up there on top. Of course, the housing is different, You've got an all purple housing for Galvatron 2 with the silver and black for the Kingdom release. Also, he comes with his ship guns. Now, Galvatron 2s are molded in all black, opposed to Kingdom Galvatron, who had the gray versions. And I'll be honest, I like the gray versions better because you lose a lot of the detail in these black versions. So, you got that going on and you do have two of them so you can combine them into the mega cannon 
you also get a matrix of leadership and this one is all painted green for some reason to me it reminds me of the corrupted matrix from the marvel comic series and to be honest i think hasbro was a little lazy with this matrix accessory i mean it's all green the handles everything the center is green i think that's a little lazy on hasbro's part of course you've got kingdom galvatrons that one looks a lot better and let's see the chain the chain is the same so let's go ahead and get all of these accessories on galvatron 2 and compare him more to the kingdom release and here we have Transformers Generation Selects Galvatron 2 with Kingdom Galvatron. And I'm going to be honest, guys, I actually prefer the look of Galvatron 2 to Kingdom. And I think that reasoning is it's just pure nostalgia for me because growing up where I did, I didn't have access to cable TV, so I didn't really follow the adventures of the purple Galvatron here. I followed Marvel Comics, which is what the Generation Select Galvatron is based on. So, that being said, this is my Galvatron from my childhood. Now, taking a closer look at these two figures, it's amazing what the different paint schemes can do with these two. I adore the dark gray face on Galvatron 2, opposed to the shiny chrome on the Kingdom version. And notice how those red eyes just pop. And of course, you've got the main color difference between the gray and the purple. I'm really not a big fan of the light purple Decepticon insignia on his chest, but it is what it is. You've got the different color schemes there for the ab area, the red and the gray. But overall, I mean, the same figure, but it's just amazing what a new paint job can do. So that's pretty much it with the comparison in robot mode. Let's go ahead and get these two transformed into their cannon modes. In cannon mode, once again, I think I have to give it to Galvatron 2. And I think why this time is the cannon barrel. I just like that really, really bright orange. It just looks so much better than the kingdom version. Now, of course, the collar schemes are exactly the same as in robot mode, but I just prefer Galvatron 2 a lot better. Now, Galvatron 2's collar scheme is also an homage to the original Generation 1 toy. And a nice cool throwback that this figure has, there is a rub sign right there that actually, if you'll pick it up, it works. How cool is that? So, speaking of rub signs, which is a decal, now let's talk about the decals that Galvatron came with. I just mentioned that this color scheme is also based on a Generation 1 toy. Well, these decals are based upon the decals the Generation 1 toy came with. So we apply these to Galvatron. He's going to have more of a G1 toy look. So now, without further ado, let's get these decals on Galvatron. And here we have Galvatron 2 about 90% decaled up. As I feared, these decals really aren't that good. Take a look right here. It is that really thin foil. I mean, some of them applied okay, but then you got issues like this where it's cut so deep when you try to peel off the decal, you're peeling the backing as well. So I gave up on that one. Right there, you can tell that one was cut bad. And I, to be honest, I just gave up because these are annoying decals to put on because they're so thin and they just don't line up perfectly. Now, the worst offenders are up here on his head. These decals just don't go with the mold and it really looks bad. Look how wrinkly that is. Don't like that one at all. The ones on the shoulders, they're okay. Right here, the red. It still gets that wrinkly look. These decals, like I said, they're just way too thin. They are no Toy Hacks decals. Then you got these here on the abs. See how that one crinkled up right there? Yet some, surprisingly, worked really well. These here on the sides look good. The decals right here on the, I call them his holsters, they look good. You got the decal right there. And another issue, 
is the way they're cut. They don't match up to the lines perfectly, say like Toy Hex decals. And they got the decals here on the knees and down here on the ankles. There's also some decals, where'd I put them? Right there around the wrist. Now, of course, like I said, I didn't apply them all just because I didn't want to waste any more of my time or yours. Though I do appreciate how Hasbro added these decals so you can give Galvatron 2 more of a G1 toy look. So now comparing Galvatron 2 to the original Generation 1 toy, you can see what Hasbro was going for. So see the decal similarities, even you got the decals there for the red chest and the little silver up here on the crest, which looks a lot better on G1 than this guy. Like I said, I appreciate what they were going for. I just wish they'd spent the money and gave us better stickers. After all, this is a Generation Selects figure. Transformers Generation Selects Galvatron, or Galvatron 2 as I've been calling him, is a great figure for us old school G1ers. I mean, he's got those great Marvel throwbacks. He's got those great G1 toy throwbacks. I couldn't be happier. I think the color scheme really works for this figure. And I love the extra added attention to detail that Hasbro gave this guy, especially with the sparkles in the barrel, just like the Generation 1 toy. I mean, that is awesome. Now the decals were good in concept, but I really think they don't work for this figure. Of course, it's up to you. You can mix and match if you want. You don't have to add them all. I, for one, am gonna peel those right off. Now, another thing I noticed, I complained earlier about the laziness of Hasbro and their coloring the Matrix green. When I was researching an image for the corrupt Matrix that Thunderwing holds earlier in the review, I discovered that Marvel always colored the Matrix green. So, my bad Hasbro, that is a perfect representation of the G1 comic matrix. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Big shout out to all my current channel members. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it's fans like you that help this channel grow. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, Signing out. Hoo-ah!